Good evening, everyone. I'm Piper Minetti, the voice of America, and you're in the pipeline. Today, we're going to get to the source of what really happened to 27-year-old Connie Vogel, who was brutally assaulted in an alleyway, while there were more than a dozen law enforcement officers less than a mile away. Tonight, we've got with us the newly elected state senator, Calvin Ryder, the freshman from the 22nd District. Welcome, Mr. Ryder. Thank you for having me. I wish I was here under better circumstances, of course. Yes. Speaking of circumstances, isn't it true that there has been a rash of lawlessness in your jurisdiction ever since you took office? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, this issue is stemming from a, a chronic mismanagement of police resources and the misprioritizing of assets. But the law's the law, so if you break the law, you go to jail, surely. Uh, look. In this case, a bunch of kids were out plugging meters in defiance of a ridiculous law, and it, uh, which, mind you, is an anti-good Samaritan law at its core. And the overreaction of police when an innocent woman was being assaulted. Which I understand that you're introducing legislation to overturn. Yes, that is correct. Well, wouldn't you say you are a babe in the political woods, so to speak, and there are a few more people that know quite a bit more than you? And wouldn't you say that you're the one misprioritizing things here? Again. It's, it's the principle of mismanagement of resources and, and misguided priorities. And we're spending all these tax dollars and, and tying up the courts on this nonsense when, you know, in this case, a squad car drives right past a citizen truly in need. You are it, blaming the law enforcement officers for doing their jobs. And the truth is, you've got a band of thugs out there roaming the streets, turning their nose up at author authorities and breaking the law. And that's what happened to Connie Vogel, let me speak. And that is what truly happened to Connie Vogel. And if you want to stake your political career on going after the criminal element and defending them, I can assure you it will be a mighty short career for you, my friend. Mark my words on that. You stay with us right here and we will be back in the pipeline. <laughs> 